What up, everyone? This is Casual Chris. I'm about to mix down some of my own music, but I wanted to help you guys out with a new tutorial on a plugin called Cable Guys Shaper Box uh, that I have been using on every single song I've made since I bought this. Now, I did a tutorial on this back in December. Now, this is six months later with the Logic Pro 10.5 update. The new update made this uh, plugin easier to set up, um, which is more exciting. It, it's just less time to get your kick to uh, stand out, to have your song duck under the kick. Um, so it's, it's a great tool and they, this new update just made it super easier to use. So I want to show you how I've been using it with the new Logic 10.5 update. <laughs> Uh, before I get into it, I just want to say thank you for tuning in. I hope I help. These are all made to help you. I make music on my own, but I'm just showing you all the tools that I use to make music. So hopefully you can use it in your music production. If I've helped you in any way, if you can please hit subscribe, that would mean a lot to me. Uh, this is what I'm doing. This is what I'm doing for the rest of my life. I have made that decision in January 2018. I've been swinging ever since. I've been putting out great videos for you guys to you know, make music, release your music, uh, fight through criticism, any of that stuff. So with all that said, let's go ahead and get into this tutorial. First, what you'll be doing um, is creating a new instrument. Now, this is going to be a MIDI controlled instrument. Go to Cable Guys, go to Shaper Box. I use stereo. Um, that's, that's just what I do. So now here it is right here. I'm gonna name it Cable Guys Shaper Box. So you guys know what's up. Okay, so this is the plugin. Um, what I'm gonna be using it for is to duck the bass. So basically every sound, I, I duck everything, anything that has weight. And when I say weight, I mean if you take a, a EQ and you cut all the low frequencies out all the way until you hear that sound go weak, until you hear it sound thin, all that stuff over here, that's what's getting side-chained. So uh, that's the best way to explain it uh, that I found. I've seen a bunch of techniques on it, but this is what I've been doing with all of my uh, songs. Um, and it's worked out really well for me. So here's the... Here's what you would be doing. You'd hit the volume. And then you would be going into ducking. You could use any one of these waveforms. Personally, I use this waveform. And then I'll show you what I do next. But now we got to get it set up. So to get it set up, uh, you'd be going to your drums. So my drums are right here. Um, Again, this is the new Logic 10.5 update, which is amazing, easy to use, and it made Cable Guys uh, plug in Cable Guys Shaper Box really, really easy to use, set up now. Before, it was a little bit more difficult. If you saw my old tutorial, uh, there's a lot more steps involved. And if you are using drum loops, you still have to use that same. Um, way of getting things set up for this. So if you're using a loop, um, if you're not using 10.5 update, I have an old video for this, but this is this is going to be 10.5. So here it is. Um, in 10.5, it's laid out as a sequencer already, yeah, so it's it's ready to go. So really, all I would be doing is highlighting the entire row hitting the option, dragging it all the way up to the cable guys and dropping it. Boof. So now I have all the MIDI information um, of my drum, but I don't need, I don't need the side chains. I don't need the hi-hat. I don't need the claps. I don't need anything else. I just need the kick. I just need the kick information. And um, so this is perfect. This, again, is very beneficial 
if you aren't using four on the floor, so when I mean four on the floor, I mean the one, two, three, four, the dance music, the boom, 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 the pumping. If you aren't doing that, which I don't do that on every song. I have hip hop songs. I have different drum tracks. I have drums all over the place. Uh, this makes it easy um, to sidechain those parts um, too. So check this out. I will take out all the hi hats on this, which is this notes right here. I know that because I know that I made this song. I'm going to take out my claps. So the only thing that's going to be side chaining are these kicks right up here. Um, I could play this for you so you know what they sound like. So boom, 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 boom. So it's a different uh, kick on that. So now what I'll be doing is actually let's go back oops just to make this easier when you highlight all of this um, make uh, let's do this let's turn all of this into a MIDI region so hit convert to MIDI region Oof. Now you have it all committed to a MIDI region. Now I'm just going to highlight all these, which that's my hi-hats. I'm going to highlight all these, which those are my kicks. And it's just going to take them all out for the whole song. So it just makes it quick and easier. This tutorial is me talking. It takes longer. But there you go. So these right here on my C are my kicks. Um, all ready, set up, ready to go. You don't really need to do anything. Cable, got, cable box reads the C but only the C note. So before this 10.5 update, you would have to drag everything to the C. And it was just another step, but this makes it easier. I mean, the 10.5 update makes things, makes sense. So there we are. So now it is perfectly side chained to the kick. Now, what I need to do, the last possible step is I need to tell it what needs to be side chained. So, I want the chords, I want the synth, I want chord synths, basically everything red. Um, everything red on my project is going to be the um, musical elements. So, the pianos, the synths, um, you know, musical, melodies, anything musical uh, is going to be red in my project file. So, all I'm doing is saying... To make this easy and to sidechain it all in one fail swoop, I'll send it to a bus. Usually bus 10. Okay, so now all my instruments are going to the bus. Now you want to mute this bus. You don't need the information coming through this bus. You don't need sound coming through this bus. So you can either go no output or you can hit mute. Either way works. Now you'll be telling your shaper box that hey i want everything that goes to bus 2 or bus 10 to be side chain so all of my musical elements i want side chain so it's going to do that now on this end you're going to need to tell it hey i need i want it to do one shot Now we're doing one shots. So lastly, you need to tell it, you need to move the waveform of this because if you look at the top corner, top left band section of the cable guys, it's 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 ducking, but it's not coming back up. It's not pumping back up. You fix that by moving this. So again, uh, you're gonna hold Option. You're gonna click, you're gonna drag, you're gonna grab all these points, all three of these points, you're gonna grab them. You're gonna let go of Option. And now you have the ability to slide this. 
Now you're gonna slide it to the left because you're only gonna want a tip of that kick. So once you see some action in the top left hand corner up here of it pumping to the, to the kick of your song, you know it's working. All this here is just preference, it's just ear. But as long as you see this in the top left moving, you know that it's pumping to your kick. This is done. Now, this might sound weird because it's, it's coming through, it's a recording issue. Uh, so if it doesn't sound great to you, sorry, it's a recording issue. I don't know, I'm just trying to help you guys with this. But the element, this is how you set it up. This is... This is my exact setup right here. I could even save this as a default if I wanted to, but every song is different. Every, um, every, every, every song is different. So now that I have this kick, what I like to do is I like to leave it the whole way so I can hear everything that's ducking. So I can hear the, the musical element completely duck out and then come in, completely duck out and come in. Now the last step is to actually I've been doing is sliding this over so that not everything of the sound gets side chained. Only the heavy stuff, only the sub, only the 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 frequencies that make a sound give it its weight, its heaviness. So if I take an EQ compressor again and cut out all the frequencies, um, as soon as you hear it thin, all that to the left, that's what I want side chained. The thinness, I don't really want side chained. I want the thinness to, to, to shine through. I don't want the whole track to wave. I could have the whole track to wave. That's one way of doing it, but I don't necessarily want that sound. It, it changes the sound of your song and, and really makes your kick make your track just jump all over the place. not jump all over the place but you know, control jumps so I'm just going to move this thing. now you can see when I move it in the bottom of the uh, plugin that it's telling me the frequencies at which it is splitting um, I don't recommend you even pay attention to that just use your ears again this is where you use your ears but I know generally I'm going to be for to the 300, 400 range. I can move up to the 900 range if I really want. But it's all ear. It's all what you hear from here. There's no wrong way of doing it. Um, but you're all set up. I want, I'm going to put it in the 600. I want the kick to take all of that. I want you to hear that kick to shine through. With the top end, I still want the chords to still sit there. I don't want the chords to duck. Because the chords are sitting on the one. The chords are sitting on the doom. Right when the kick hits the chord sit. So I don't necessarily want that entire sound to duck out. No, I just want the kick, the bottom end, to shine through on that sound. So that is exactly what this shape is. Um, I don't know if there's a way to save this and put this in the um, video so you get so you guys can have it but I really really want you guys to get used to using this on your own I really want you guys to hear it with your ear on your own one of the earlier mistakes that I made is I would copy um, settings of compressors or settings of EQs you know, I would look and I would look at the settings you know and uh, that didn't help me because every song is different. Even every single song is different. You wouldn't be using the same thing um, except for this. This is the only thing on every song that I've ever put out that I use this. I don't use the same settings within this plugin, but I definitely use this plugin on every single song I make to duck the kick and maintain high frequencies within the whole other song. And it just gives my song, that, or it gives my kick the, the sound I'm looking for, or the fullness I'm looking for. So, uh, again, I hope this tutorial helps you out. Uh, I wanted to go over uh, the 10.5 Logic um, update, because uh, it is a huge update, and it made this thing easier to set up.
And just a few more notes for you guys on this plugin. Now, when you're not trying to duck the kick, this plugin still likes to duck the kick. What I have found to get around it is to automate the mix button. So the mix of this plugin in the top right hand corner will basically tell it to turn off. So I just automate the actual song to turn off when I don't want it to actually duck the kick, usually during a breakdown or the intro. And then when I want it to duck, I just automate it back up to 100%. So just a quick tip on that, that I found a workaround for, for that. Because I, I do have a problem where during breakdowns or intros where I don't want the kick ducking. I, I don't want, there's no kick at all in the sound. Um, and I just want the bass or the musical part, part to play through. Um, I have to automate the mix button on the actual cable guys so that it doesn't, you know, completely start ducking the kick when there's no kick to duck. So just a quick note on that as a workaround for um, anything that you run into when you are making your music. So thanks for tuning in and uh, you guys have a great rest of your week.